at the 10th annual fly-in cruise-in here in Marion, Indiana. We're standing in front of this beautiful 1929 tri-motor Ford. It just flew in from Kalamazoo, Michigan. It's from the Kalamazoo Air Zoo. I'm with all of the volunteers that, that support and fly this tri-motor. What, uh, what is it about the tri-motor that makes you love it so? I just love flying on it and uh, helping the museum and uh, I sell tickets for the rides on the tri-motor. Okay, and you're Barb Palmer and from Kalamazoo. Okay, and uh, your name, sir? Al Vanderveen. Al, tell us what you do uh, and, and what your involvement with the tri-motor is. Well, I'm uh, the crew chief on the Ford tri-motor. I've been doing this job for seven years. And uh, we primarily uh, maintain the Ford while it's on the ground and uh, load and unload passengers, uh, try to do it as safely as possible. We've been fortunate we've never had an incident in the seven years that I've been working on the airplane, and uh, I think that's an enviable record, but it's a, it's a labor of love. My name is Howard Shell, And Howard, uh, why don't you introduce this lady that's with you here? This is Marie McCartney, and she'll be my wife in the, this month sometime. So she's your fiancé. Right, right. Well, I know that both of you were here last year, and uh, tell us what you do volunteering for the Trimotor Fort. Well, I work with the gift shop. Marie and I do. Uh, that's our main task, is to work with the gift shop and help in any other way that we can, which I do. Why do they call it the Air Zoo? They call it the Air Zoo is because of Kalamazoo. And also, the second reason is the fact that we have all the cats there. And by that, I mean the tiger cat, wild cat, bear cat, hell cat. Panther and other cats, and that's where they get the name Air Zoo. And why don't you introduce this lady here with you? I'll be very happy to. It's my lovely bride of 41 years, Carol. It's four. And you enjoy flying in the tri -motor. Yes. I'd like to say what a wonderful opportunity it is to fly this wonderful airplane. I, I feel very, very lucky to be able to do this. To re you're looking at the luckiest retired pilot in the world. And one of our big joys is to have young people on the flights and after we level off, we can have them come up and sit on our lap one at a time and, and fly the airplane. And you can't believe the look on a, a four or five-year-old the first time they fly an airplane. It's wonderful. We're glad you're back in Marion for the second year. And for the second year, Dick Ward. And Dick has the distinction, perhaps, we don't know this for sure, but we don't know anybody that can challenge him, perhaps Dick is the highest time trimotor pilot in the world today. Dick, what is it about the trimotor that you love so much? Uh, it's... Uh Second only to my wife, uh, and her name is Donna, and not to be don outdone by Larry Spoor, we had our 50th wedding anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Donna. It is a grand old lady, and I'm not talking about Donna. I'm talking about this Ford Trimotor. It is just a marvelous piece of aviation history, uh, one, as Larry has pointed out, that we're very proud to be part of. It's become part of our lives. And we uh, are volunteer pilots. Uh, we work for lunch. And anyone that goes for a ride in this marvelous airplane will experience much the same feeling that we do, very nostalgic, every time we uh, get in and fly the machine. How long will it take you to fly this tri-motor back to Kalamazoo? At 85 knots, which uh, relates to about 100 miles an hour, it's an hour and 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the wind. Uh, today was a beautiful flight. We never got much above 900 feet or so coming down. We thank you all.